The plaintiff, registered trustees of Malcolm Omirobo Foundation, is urging the court to stop the Federal Ministry of Agriculture or any other government agency from carrying on with the Ruga settlement scheme in Sokoto, Nasarawa, Kogi, Kasina, Kebi, Zamfara, and other states already penciled down as pilot states for the government Ruga policy. Briefing journalists in Abuja, the plaintiff counsel Malcolm Omirobo noted that the Flani Ruga settlement policy of the federal government runs counter to the 1999 constitution, especially sections 28, 29, and 51 of the Land Use Act of 1978. And we are saying it is discriminatory. We are saying it amounts to apartheid. And that's uh, one of our major relief. We are also saying that federal government cannot convert land that it has originally compulsorily uh, revoked from the indigenous peoples of Nigeria. We also contend that the state governors are trustees. They are holding the land for the, all the ethnic groups in Nigeria in trust and that the 36 federating state governors have no power to volunteer the land of the indigenous people to the, to the federal government for the purpose of the Ruga scheme, uh, settlement uh, policy scheme. The plaintiff also wants the federal high court to stop the government from imposing the Ruga settlement policy on Benue, Ekiti, and Taraba states that already have their respective anti-open grazing laws enacted by their respective state houses of assembly pursuant to the provision paragraph 18 of the second schedule to the 1999 constitution. We are saying that the Ekiti, the Benue, and the Taraba state government already have ranching laws and that we are saying that these laws are passed by the state house of assembly pursuant to the provisions of the constitution meanwhile no date has yet been fixed for hearing of the suit basil okafo call tv news abuja